Oh, you're going to love this one. Extension. Alabama, A&M, and Auburn Universities. Got to thank them for this article on feeding broiler litter to beef cattle. What is broiler litter? So chicken broilers, right? And litter is shit. So feeding broiler litter to beef cattle. Feeding chicken shit to beef cattle. The news speak from 1984 is so ridiculous right now that you have to have the vision to be able to interpret what is really being said. They're feeding chicken shit to cattle. That's what this article is about. And thank goodness they wrote the article. They're being transparent in a very... uh, elusive way because what they say is in favor of this practice of creating basically shit burgers right chicken shit fed beef so the beef is fed chicken shit but let's look at the article the cattle feeding industry has been built largely on the use of byproducts Hmm. Byproducts. What is byproducts? What would be, hmm, what would constitute a byproduct? Could that be chicken shit? The cattle feeding industry has been built largely on the use of chicken shit and other stuff too. But the way they use byproducts here for basically the articles talking about chicken shit for the word chicken shit is the first red flag right there not to mention feeding cows chicken shit that of course is a red flag most beef producers take into account the public perception of beef when they consider using waste materials as feed and thus try to avoid controversy over the healthfulness of beef i guess that would be uh shit fed beef not grass you know beef you know grass-fed beef i'm pretty sure people have seen that you wonder because of the zombification what is the difference between grass-fed beef if they're really fed the grass you know it'd be good if people uh would check that out but grass-fed beef versus shit fed beef i think wins Now, let's go forward. In this first paragraph, we didn't even get off the first paragraph yet of this article. Okay. This is a source information, and it's neither promoting nor condemning the feeding of litter. Learn the main advantages. Wow. It's neither promoting, right? But here's the main advantages. Sounds like a promotion to me. And again, the deceptive language. Learn the main advantages of using broiler litter. Basically, learn the main advantages of using chicken shit, as well as comprehensive information on FDA regulations. Nutritional value. So what is this saying without saying? as well as comprehensive information on FDA regulations. FDA regulations mean what you can get away with. This is 1984 visionary speak. Nor condemning the feeding of litter of shit, chicken shit to be exact. Hmm. Nor condemning it. Well, they're definitely not condemning it. It seems like they're promoting the shit. But how would somebody notice this in the midst of all of this bullshit throughout just the first paragraph? The first steps of de-zombification comes in the form of noticing keywords. And as we use our mental vision to see through the illusion, visually, mentally, and much more, we see that this first paragraph of this 10-page article has so many keywords that red flags should be brought up. I'm going to show a 
part of how it looks. So when we read it, as we did, the cattle feeding industry has been built largely on the use of byproducts. Byproducts, first keyword. We know that means chicken shit and also chicken bedding, body parts unused, not from cows, not from cows, but they used to be from cows too. And they stopped the feeding of chicken shit, as I did further research a few years back, because they feed the chicken cow parts. Wasted, you know, just like they feed waste to the cows, don't think that they don't feed it to the chickens and the sheep and the pigs. It's straight Frankenstein, horror, horror food zombies. But as we see here, just using the first level of mental power, the vision power, seeing with your mind. So you're reading and thinking. What is reading and thinking? That's comprehension. You're going to comprehend what you read. Then you need to question what you're comprehending. Who wrote it? Who was it written for? Why was it written? We see that this is a pro chicken shit article saying that it's not pushing their litter, their shit, to the beef industry. And the beef industry, it seems, as far as this first paragraph is concerned, most beef producers, most shit fed beef producers, take into account that they have to deceive the public. Because they know about the public perception of beef. Again, another keyword, but shit fed beef. That's why it's a keyword. Say, wait a minute. It's not just regular beef. This is a special type of beef that produces shit burgers, shit steaks. Because that's the thing. It doesn't even have to be ground. They're feeding the cattle chicken shit, among other things. But using the second level, of power, vision power, we see that the keywords have their second meaning next to it. I put that in the paragraph here. And as we go forward into the third level of power, level of vision power, mental vision power, you don't even see the keywords anymore. You just see them for what they are. 